Hello everybody, I'm Dennis from STEAG. It will be my pleasure to share with you our experience uh, in making value out of data. Um, I prepared a couple of slides, we will look at that and you will have the possibility to look at three additional um, clips afterwards we will make in the next few weeks. So as I said, I'm Dennis, Dennis Braun. I'm a mechanical engineer and I'm almost 10 years here now with STEAG. And what we do is really to, to help all kinds of power plants, of all kinds of um, wind farms, whatever you, whatever you have, whatever data you have, to optimize and provide more availability, more performance. And uh, we will share our experience from internal and external projects with you. And I'm glad that we could combine the best of the German engineering here for you. Lots of facts, data and no sense of humor. And so let's start directly. A couple of ideas for you to see why you should follow in afterwards. Just super quick about our company. You see many years of experience, power plants, wind, you name it. We've done it, we do it. So we are a very experienced partner and so you can benefit from our experience even if you just use your own data set for those things. And when I hear about the data, many times it's like you don't see the wood for the trees. The problem is data is all there, somebody has to look at it and it's almost impossible to really uh, find something. So in this picture, nobody of us would see that something is wrong over here. Translated to a power plant environment or wind farm, monitoring center, whatever it is, looks like this, more or less. And here or there or there might be some data that wants to tell you something is wrong, but you will just miss it. And that is something where I'm really enthusiastic about that should be easier, yeah? it should be helpful and not be another reliability for the personnel. So we have different possibilities, different systems, different ways to process the data and many times people just have a very easy problem. Yeah? The maximum amount, let's go back, maximum amount, uh, maximum amount of energy that a power plant makes is more or less the same all the time. But what if your value that you have to keep an eye on is curvy like that road? In that area, it's much more difficult to make a reference value, much more difficult to see if something is wrong and early on to see what's going on and where there's a problem. So the next clips we will do over the next weeks. In the first episode, we will really go into the detail about some coal-fired fire, power plant example where we have some huge lever and we will analyze by applying thermodynamical approaches there to see what's wrong with the condenser and what is really happening when we can spot it and what we can do about that and what, what you could do early on to improve. Second uh, clip will be about KPIs. What are they? Uh, how do we use them to make better maintenance of wind farms? We will look at an example there in detail and we will also discuss the differences of high quality KPIs versus big data approaches. In the last episode for now, we will have fun with flags anemometers, they will fail, we will see how to spot that and also share our experience over there. That is for now the first quick overview. Um, our solution is always to apply knowledge, engineer, engineering knowledge and experience, the right tools and then make some value out of the data and most of the things that I will show you is possible to try them, check them out yourself, just get in touch. And so please follow our LinkedIn account. Please give me a comment in the section below and let's really get a discussion started. I'll be happy for further um, interaction with you. So bye bye.